so Kay Orff is a, she's like a, literally a genius landscape architect. She's um, done some uh, managed retreat in, uh, in like the New York area after Superstorm Sandy. But one of her first projects was in Lexington, Kentucky. And it was basically going in, you know, Lexington, like a lot of cities built up along a river and then had been basically built over the river. And Kate's project was to go uncover the river and some of the other green space. So it was fundamentally a subtraction, right? It's like you're getting rid of human built stuff and restoring some of this area to make the whole place better. But she never obviously uses the word subtraction. Speaking of things that computers can do that maybe we don't need, but you can go and uh, computers, I don't, they, they can classify the valence around words, right? And so you look at how different words are used and whether they have a negative or positive valence. Most words have positive valences. Subtracting obviously has a, a negative valence. Uh, it's not as bad as moist, but it's, um, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it doesn't have a great feeling when it comes off the, the tongue for people. So Kate, or if she's got her, her four, you know, words that she uses to describe the design and one is clean, one is carve, one is reveal, and I'm going to blank on the other one, but they're all essentially synonyms for subtracting, and but they all have much more positive connotations. So number one, that makes you it feel better connect. about what... Connect. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. Um, and so that makes you feel better about what you're doing, but it also, when you're communicating this to other people, they're like, why are you charging me money to subtract something, right? <laughs> like, so, what's the, your brilliant idea is to subtract. So using some of these these synonyms can can be helpful. And it also kind of directs the attention towards what you're what you're getting as opposed to what what you're losing, which as we know is a really surefire way to make things more appealing. Absolutely. For me, the concept of leverage is how I view subtraction. Interesting. So how do I leverage having less space? How do I leverage having fewer things? How do I leverage my time? What are ways that I can bring leverage into my life? And often that involves subtraction. That involves deleting the extra meeting. That involves shrinking things down so that we can get to the point. We go in with an agenda instead of open-ended. And that has really stood out for me now around whether it's investing financially, what's the leverage? It's my time within the business, what's the leverage? And it's property, what's the leverage? Like, how can I make this the best use of the resources that I have? When I talk to a lot of friends and family members, they start to feel because they've added, 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 added to their lives that they're removing freedom they feel imprisoned by all of the addition and it's like well you added the three extra rooms thinking you're going to grow your family into that was that the right time to carry that mortgage well that kind of traps you in a job that maybe you don't like or well i had to move to this area because i'm close to my core group of friends but now i can't get on a plane and travel or i can't actually live in the city that unlocks more income for me and it's very easy to build a prison for yourself around adding, 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 and much easier to break out of the prison by using the tool of subtraction. 